After the back to school rush, you and your partner may be in need of a romantic getaway. Karen Locke, the author of the travel blog Sand and Snow, has some trips that won't take you too far away from your kids or break the bank. That's the most important thing. Oh, School was expensive yes. to get started. <laughs> no kidding. And I can't believe we're already into autumn like I getaways. I know. So amazing. So we're going to go first to Sharon, which is not that far from downtown Pittsburgh. I love downtown Sharon. It's kind of a hidden gem. It's only about an hour away on a road trip. Perfect. One tank of gas. You're good. And you have a couple options of where to stay too. And uh, the first is Country Inn. I do. I have been to both of these places recently and they get my five star gold chart award. So the first one is Terra, a country and it has like an 1865 Civil War theme. There's kind of a mini museum inside as well. So when you walk in, they are there to serve you. You get champagne when you check in. There is an afternoon like full tea service. Ooh. I know there's a champagne reception at night with charcuterie. And then if you haven't had enough to eat by the end of that day, freshly made to order breakfast in the morning and then you can peruse the grounds take a swim do some billiards it's amazing well and the next place is the buell mansion you had me at mansion it's fine right you don't even have to tell me anything else <laughs> what what's, what do they have yeah so just down the road from tara is buell mansion it was made as a wedding present from tycoon frank buell to his wife as a wedding present wow 10 luxury guest rooms. My favorite is the Grand Turret Suite on the top, but same as Tara, all of the amenities, charcuterie, champagne when you check in. There's a spa in the basement if you Ooh. want to book. Oh my gosh, it's just heaven. So outside of where to stay, what are some of the things that you can do when okay. you visit Sharon? Well, right now is corn maze season. So there are a couple of really good corn mazes. One has a theme of Bob Barker. There's oh, right. I we know. were there. Irons Mill. Were right. you there? Yeah, we went. Isn't it so much fun? It's, it's wonderful. They have an apple cannon where you can actually shoot at apples at like old buses and things. And then there's another one that's dedicated. It's giant lighthouse. It's called Cool Spring. And it is so much fun. It's perfect on beautiful days. That's wonderful. So a lot to do. Oh, even more. Go. Oh, there's so, more too. Oh, oh good. Tell me oh, more. Come on. There's more. So <laughs> Buell Park, perfect place to take the puppers if you want to take them with you. You can walk. There's hiking. There's a butterfly garden right now that's really lovely. I love it. And also Daffin's Candy. Handmade chocolate, truffles, the goods. So much good. So right. much good and fun. So, and is there anything else that you wanted to highlight and share? Well, there's one more place. Okay. It's called Cranax. And if Sharon, have you heard of Cranax? I've, I, but I've never been. Tell me more about it. Well, last week they just opened Christmas Land, and it is a 120 foot long path. Have you? I've, this is why it? it sounds familiar. This yes. is why you need to yes. go. So closer to Christmas, there's a one and a half to two hour wait to get in. Right now is the time to go. But it's these highly decorated Christmas trees, and if you fall in love with one, grab the number from the tree, go to the end, and they will show you where everything is to recreate it at home. Wow. I know. How so special. Much fun. Okay, and so let's go to Buffalo, New York next, and. Oh. This also is not that far. Buffalo's only three hours on the on the um, PA Turnpike. Right. Absolutely beautiful place. If you don't know of Buffalo or haven't been in a while, it's kind of like Pittsburgh in that it has this huge renaissance. And where should we stay if we go to Buffalo, okay. New York? What are your my, recommendations? My and my husband pick is the Curtis Hotel. So on the outside, it reminds me of the Flatiron Building in New York. It's got kind of that triangle shape, but the inside is historically gorgeous. Oh. And the guest rooms, not only are they beautifully swanky. Look at this. I know, but they have a steam shower in the bathroom. Mm. You can oh. sync up your music and the lights. I mean, I just want to live there. Sign Let me, me up. live there, please. Sign me up. <laughs> um, and so what can we do when we go to Buffalo, New York? Okay. If you love the outdoors, Canal Side is where you want to go. So it's free to go there. There are a lot of chairs, but maybe just take your own um, sitting chairs and things. You're going to hang out, listen to free entertainment, grab some food, and watch the beautiful water views. And there's tons of to do there too, right? So much. There are actually two boat excursions. One is on a canal boat and it takes you through the canal. You get a little bit of history. The next is called the Spirit of Buffalo and it's an actual schooner. Head out, grab some tickets for the Sunset Cruise and you won't be disappointed. Uh, one of our favorite places, and this was new to us, I think we have just enough time to get to Bedford okay. to talk okay. about it. So tell us more about Bedford. I love Bedford. So Bedford splits the difference between an hour and three and it's two hours right on the turnpike. Bedford is a historical community. It's yeah. absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to ask you where to stay, but I know where my favorite place is. You know where you want to go. Yeah. I know where I always want to go. Omni Bedford Springs yes. Resort. Yes. Historically <laughs> gorgeous. It was actually the summer home for many United States presidents. Right. Believe it or not, they would just hang out there, and there's a good reason why. Eight on-property springs, 
to pools, an indoor and an outdoor. There's at least five restaurants ranging from like a brew pub to swanky. You can get cleaned up, walk around, check out the springs, hiking, walking, walking, golfing, the lot. There's a lot to do there. And that was one of our things. We love just taking a hike through the on the trails up there. Yeah, it was so peaceful. You felt restored when you got back to this beautiful hotel. Just the air out there is so, so clean. I know. And the, the mountains are gorgeous in the morning. Well, now I want to get away. Well, I want you to. Right? <laughs> Thank yeah. you so much, Karen. Thank really you. great. And if you're looking for more travel tips and guides, we have a link to sand and stone on our website at kdka.com slash talkpittsburgh.